Welcome to the news. The news updates. Lagos election. God forbid Tinumbu becomes president. Obi Ezekwesili says. Thank you for tuning in to today's news. But please don't forget that you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. The news details kindly listen carefully to the end. A former Minister of Education, Dr. Ubi Ezekwesili, has expressed doubt that Nigerians president elect Ashwaju Ahmed Bolatinumbu would be sworn in as President Mamadou Buhari's successor after she said God will forbid that the former Lagos governor becomes president. The former education minister was reacting to the high level of electoral violence that was experienced across Lagos states during the conduct of the Saturday's gubernatorial election. She expressed fear that Ashwaju would promote violence when it becomes president because, because it could not promote peace in Lagos, which purportedly belonged to him. On the 19th of March 2023, Eze Kwezili, who has served Nigeria in different capacities, is concerned that Nigerians may witness more reckless and total disregard of rule of law if Tinumbu becomes president. Ezekwizili accused Tinumbu and his cohorts of causing the mayhem during the Saturday's gubernatorial election in Lagos. She feared that violence might escalate to every part of the country when Tinumbu assumes office. The former Minister of Education, Dr. Ubi Ezekwizili, who has also served in different capacities in Nigeria, has, has fear in her that when Ashwa Jubalame Tinumbu becomes the president or being sworn in, in on May 29, 2023, is going to promotes violence, whereas looking at the situation in Lagos State during the gubernatorial election, in most polling units, there were violence. The Yorubas coming out and making it known that if you're not going to be voting for the All Progressives Congress, APC, do not come to vote. And even when some people came out to vote, wanted to vote for APC, just because they are looking like the Igbos, they, they had to send them away, beating them and all sorts, causing violence, snatching of ballot papers, destroying of ballot papers, disrupting electoral process. And this is Lagos states in which Ashwajubala Metunumbu, which, which is a state of Ashwajubala Metunumbu, this happened under Ashwajubala Metunumbu, yet it could not curb the violence. That means it could not promote peace in Lagos. And once it is sworn in, violence will escalate or might escalate to every part of the country. And this will be very bad to Nigerians in general. Because even when the violence is not tough like this, people are still going about killing themselves and destroying properties, doing all sorts. Now, if Ashwaju Bala Metunubu becomes, pardon, if Ashwaju Bala Metunubu is sworn in May 29, 2023, then the people who are always causing violence. We have power to continue to cause the violence because their father is now in charge. Obi Ezekwezili, who also spoke about Tinumbu, that don't believe the hype, not even Tinumbu as control of Ali Mosho. 
The most recurring question that has come up since I decided to contest the position of the President of Nigeria has been the issue of structure. I hear it all the time everywhere I go, from family, from friends, on the internet and offline. In hushed whispers and on the worried voices of people who expresses their fears to me personally. How is she going to win? Does a party have the wish or the structure to go all the way and carry the day eventually? But you see, these questions, while valid, all come from a place of trepidation. Trepidation at how truly powerful the office of a citizen is and the possibilities that can happen when the power is unleashed. Where then does the source of this is widely reported power come from? Is it grossly overestimated? Ashiwaju and his likes in APC PDP control only as much as we let them. And the situation is the same in every part of the country, from Kano to Elori, where any godfather claims to hold sway. Obi is a quizily, I said, Ashiwaju Bola Metunumbu will be the godfather of violence when he's been sworn in in May 29, 2023. What's your view concerning what Obi Ezekwizili says? Kindly share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.